Hi everyone. So here we have one example on uh, electric force, okay, electrostatic force. Okay, we are here we have three charges, Q1, Q2, and Q3. Um, so uh, first of all, we must notice what are the charges, yeah? What are the sign of the charges? So we notice all of these are positive, positive, positive charges. So we should highlight them, yeah? So this uh, Q1 is a positive charge, Q2 is a positive charge, and Q3 is a positive charge. Uh, this is very important, yeah? Next, of, next we need, need to see what uh, is the question. Okay, you ask for net force acting on Q2. Yeah, so Q2. So we only draw the force acting on Q2 only. Okay, now let's see. Uh, okay, so we have Q1, Q2, and Q3. Yeah, and notice uh, the another thing to notice is the Unit. Ah, this is nanometer. Oh, sorry, sorry. Choose a lighter. Okay, this is nanometer. Uh, all of charge of nanometer. And this distance is millimeter. Ah, so make sure you need to convert to SI unit. Okay. So the first step to solve, to find the net force on Q2. Okay. That means you only draw the force on Q2 only, yeah, Q2. Don't draw the force on Q1 and Q3. Only draw the force on Q2 only. Okay, now, uh, you must, first step is you must redraw the diagram. Okay, redraw the diagram. So, um, and then we need to draw the direction of the forces on Q2 only. Okay, so between 1 and 2, uh, they have same sign, same sign. So, positive, positive, repel. Uh, the the charge two is being repelled by Q one. Okay, Q two is being repelled by Q one. So the force is going up upward here. Yeah, uh, and then two and three is uh, also positive positive. So being repelled, uh, repelled. So F three two. Yeah, uh, means the two is being repelled by Q three. Okay, and then uh. You need, okay, you need to put the theta here, theta, angle theta. We need the theta because we need to resolve F12 and F32 into X and Y components, okay? You see this uh, horizontal line and the vertical line is, is the X and Y component. We need to resolve, okay? And this angle theta, uh, you can find using the, uh, this 4 and 3, yeah? 4 and 3, yeah? Uh, so I write here, 4 and 3. Uh, use the trigonometry, you can find the theta, okay? Now, and uh, and of course, this 5 is because of 3, 4, 5, right? Because it's a right angle triangle, so 3, 4, 5, isn't it? Uh, same to here, so. Alright, now, uh, the next step is, you must find the force of F12 and F32, okay? F12, F32. So, the, the equation for force is, K Q Q over R square, yeah. K double Q over R square. So F one two means K Q one Q two over R one two square. Okay. Uh, so you put in the value. Okay. Uh, put in the value Q one Q two and the distance between one and two. Yeah? Distance between one and two is five millimeter. Yeah. Uh, millimeter five millimeter. So need to change to. Uh, you see here. Uh, need to change to uh, SI unit, uh, negative, milli is negative 3, and then just now the nano is negative 9, ah, is it or not? Uh, these are very important, okay? Uh, okay, so you do the same for F32, find KQ2, Q3 over R square, okay? And make sure, don't forget, you have the, you have the, Square, ah, yeah, this here we have square, ah, not r divide by r only, you have divide by r square, ah, okay, good. So you got the value, uh, you got the value is um, uh, 0 0.018, okay, uh, for both of them is the same. And then what the third step is, you put into x and y table, ah, now you resolve the force into x and y table. So for F12, you see F12, F12, you have a positive X because the, the X component is positive because to the right, okay, to the right. So maybe I can draw here. Uh, so, yeah, uh, this is a positive, yeah, sorry. 
positive uh, and upward also positive, isn't it? Ah, so, uh, okay, so we have, um, okay, so that's why for the X and Y component, they have a positive, positive X and positive Y, okay? And then uh, the sign means, uh, you see, uh, X component is uh, because uh, the angle is with Y component. So Y component is cos, uh, Y component is cos theta, X component is sine theta, isn't it? Uh, X component is sine theta, Y component is cos theta, okay? And then F32, F32 is uh, to the left, to the left, you see? Okay, I draw, I draw here, it's to the left, uh, to the left, so it's negative. Uh, and it's uh, going up also, positive, uh, you see? Uh? Uh, so uh, that's why F32, the direction is, uh, for X component is negative, negative because to the left, to the left, and Y component is positive because upward, okay? And then also sine theta, cos theta, okay? Uh, because the angle with Y component, so y, com y component is cos theta, okay? Y component is cos theta, X component is sine theta. And so the X component for both forces, they cancel each other, become zero, and the Y component add up, we get this one. Uh, so the fourth step is, what's the resultant force? Okay, so X component, zero force, Y component is positive, means upwards. Uh, so Direction is very important, you must write, because force is a vector, you must have magnitude and direction, okay? So magnitude is this one, and the direction is post, uh, positive y, positive y means upwards, okay? Thank you.